morning, insert name, DFTBA to- Oh, I'm gonna get my guitar. I'll be right back. It's a little dusty, I played in a high school band. It was called Ragmunk. If you know what Ragmunk means, then you are awesome. And if you don't, I will tell you right now, it is a sweetish potato pancake or kind of a long time ago. Long enough to forget, anyway. Anyway, let's get back to what we were trying to say in the beginning. Good morning. Another drink of coffee, and today is still Wednesday. And if you couldn't tell, we will not be talking about the German cockroaches that you just saw on screen. Well, then why show them? Well, mainly because their ignorance to maintain a predictable pattern of hiding places annoys me. This is no way to play hide and go seek with humans. Well, I get that. Thanks, Terrence. And instead, they resort to tactics like these. By the way, if you see German cockroaches during the day, more than likely there are so many German cockroach hide-and-seek players that there are no more places to hide. All the good hiding places are taken. Think of seeing roaches in the daytime like the kid who could never find a hiding place fast enough, so he ended up just walking around with the seeker. Oh, and the seeker is me and my pesticide, so those roaches that are walking alongside me aren't gonna be walking for long. Alright, I'm gonna get down to the realistics of this. I showed you guys this clip because I wanted to clear the air on some misconceptions when comparing a German cockroach to a brown banded cockroach. Like these nasty suckers right here. Take a look. Yeah, I'm starting to crawl on me. <laughs> you know, just saw him. You're gonna have a lot to spray. That is the last known footage of the colony. Although these specimens met their demise minutes after this clip was shot, that does not mean that scientific observations cannot be made from this. On the contrary. Yes, I am half French. Scientific observations can be made right down to their choice of formal attire to a fancy meal, which, as you can tell, is not very good. That's a business suit. The main reason the two are confused often is because of their size, appearance, and often behaviors. Oh my god, there's something similar to German cockroaches? Unfortunately, yes. They're what I call outside German cockroaches. But don't be alarmed, Las Vegas. You're more likely to get brown banded cockroaches than you are German cockroaches. Unless you live in an apartment. Okay, that's not entirely true, but it's still funny. While that's reassuring, almost as reassuring as don't let the bed bugs bite. So let's compare. On average, adult German cockroaches will grow no more than half an inch to three quarters of an inch long. And I've seen one inch long mamas, I kid you not. They may be a little prego, but the utheca, or egg sac, counts for size, like counting the tail of a rat in overall measure. Whereas the brown banded cockroaches sizes up at rarely, rarely half an inch long, about the size of your thumbnail, or at least my thumbnail. So they're pretty close in size. Somebody had to be competition for the German cockroaches in basketball games, so I suppose this makes sense. But I know what you're thinking. Appearance must be much more complex. Yeah, you would think so, but not really. German cockroaches are easily identifiable by their two dark stripes found on the thorax. While the brown bandit is known for their translucent, almost invisible bands found running across the base of the wings. Because brown branded cockroaches don't care about the humidity and temperature and water sources that a home can provide, per se, because they can easily venture outside. And they don't mind adventuring outside to find a harborage area at all. Especially your water meters and cinder blocks. German cockroaches, on the other hand, I've never seen outside. Ever. Unless they are running from the inside to the outside in attempt to flee from my pest control rage. Both cockroaches, however, require very little food to survive and a dark cramped pad to get down and dirty in. Or reproduce with their brothers and sisters. Other than that, they're pretty similar creatures. Although this clip right here is definitely going to show you how the German cockroach male thinks of the German cockroach female. Take a look. You know when you hear a girl saying, like, Oh, I was so last night. I shouldn't have that guy. We could be that mistake. <sighs> Insert name. I will see you on... Okay, wait, one more thing. I was talking to Sanchez, and he reminded me that we did not answer the question of the day, so here we go. Very quickly, I'm going to answer the question of the day, but the next vlog, we're going to go into that answer a lot, lot more. 
I have a really awesome picture to show you guys. It's not very often that here in Vegas I get to see firsthand a camel spider kind of alive. He twitched a little bit. So I'll show you guys that next vlog. The question from the last vlog was, are camel spiders classified as spiders or as a scorpion? And the answer is neither. It is a, let me see if I'm saying this, solifuge. 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 One of those, maybe. But anyway, what that basically means is that it's so spider-like, so awesome, and it's kind of scorpion-like, and it has so many distinct features and awesome features and features that we just don't know a lot about that it can't be exactly classified as a spider. And we'll get more into that next vlog. So like Sanchez says, owl out, and I will see you on Friday. Question of the day. Not very good at the guitar.